Please enter identification. Select arcade level. Select puzzle level. Welcome to Siberia. How's the ride? Sporty. And how about telling me what's up? All the way to the point, my man. All right, here's the cinch. You'll rendezvous with the rig in about ten minutes. Your contact is Santos. There's a TF-22 prepped and ready. I've never flown a TF-22. Ah, not to worry, you won't be flying this one. The Autonav is set to take you by optimum route to the Siberia complex. Trust is a wonderful thing. I got you out of solitary, didn't I? Can't have you jetting around the globe instead of getting the job done, my man. Just what is the job, Devlin? Well, like I said, always to the point. All right, stand by. I'm going to shoot you some currents on the Siberia project. I still don't have top security clearance, but one of the science officers has started to tell me some things. They're making incredible advances in nanotechnology. I'm not sure if I've managed to get the camera into one of the labs today, and then soon, very secret, all I could make out was a message about the project, learning to talk. The director went down to see for himself in his pajamas. He spent the next two days on the vid phone to Switzerland. It's getting really hot. I know the assistant suspects me, but I'm not worried much in today. Security very tight. One of the technicians was injured yesterday. Nobody will say hi copies of some internal email messages. It might be useful. I'll get into this fellow. One died. They were constructing an isolation chamber on level two. A message about the mission. I'll be gone by 0400 hours the day before. Don't let the team show up early. Damn. Hey, I knew that would grab your attention. So that's it. Infiltrate the complex and find the Siberia weapon. What do I do with it once I find it? Well, I don't know. Keep it company. There's a cleanup team 24 hours behind you. All right, kid? Gotta run. Catch you later. <laughs> Turn around nice and slow and disarm the weapon. <laughs> Is this how you greet all your new arrivals? Only if they have a weapon. Gia, quit screwing around and bring him to my office. Come on. I'll take you to see Santos. We're under attack. Come on, follow me. You take the gun on the right. Watch it!
Watch it! Nice kill. Fighters coming in. That was amazing. Kiss me. Hmm. <laughs> Get him. Right, boss. No, he's still out. Search the hovercraft and see what you can find. And send Gia down here. Ah, you're awake. No use struggling, you're not going anywhere. Now maybe we can talk about why we were attacked. What are you doing? You're killing him. Yeah, and I wanted you to see it. You're sick. Hey, what are you doing? No, stop it! Hey. Oh. <laughs>
Santos and G are dead. He's escaped. Got it. Still alive? Just how hot is this thing? The cartel wants it pretty bad. They know we have the Siberia files, but I thought that if I sent you in alone, we could avoid all of this crap. Yeah? Well, it looks like they're laying out the welcome mat. Indeed. Taxcan shows a lot of cartel activity on your route to the complex. Your onboard fire control system should be able to handle it. Machine faith, Devlin? Trust is a wonderful thing, remember? <laughs> right.
Sensors at maximum. Navigation systems active. Target acquired. Hover mode. Hostile targets. Are 
generator.
set back sign. Navigation systems active. Monitoring your progress. Pretty impressive, Zack. Sorry about the weapons glitch. Target practice. Yeah. Here's the sitch. Recon shows that cartel forces haven't been able to penetrate to the Siberia weapons level yet. In fact, it appears from some of the transmissions we've intercepted that they've lost quite a few of their operatives. Lost? How? That's eh, not clear. But it looks like there's some kind of infection or contamination in the complex. Hmm. Great. Make sure you've got protection. <laughs> I'm going to kill that bastard.
Get him. Hurry. Hey. Yikes. You guys still dead? Alexei, I have just been informed that the janitor has quit. Cancel his key code and invalidate his access pass. Now. Alexei, we have a problem. System security has gone random. Administration had to implement a master password just to let Hiroko's girls access Vmail and personnel file. What a mess. Mr. McKellen thinks it has something to do with his insect. In any case, we must get real codes back online immediately. The master code is named for your hero hanging in birthing A. By the way, when can we expect a new janitor? The director mentioned an unpleasant odor. See to it. Alexei, a couple of strangers just looked into my storeroom. I think one of them had a plas pistol. Is everything okay? Alexei, unauthorized personnel. Seal off all levels. What's up, Al? Shh. 
which seems to also be related to the weapon's newfound sentience. In conclusion, it would appear that at this stage of research, the potential of the Siberia weapon is virtually limitless. However, the fundamental lack of boundaries this potential brings makes this project extremely difficult to control. But even if we can't find a way to control and harness this entity, then surely the spin-off technologies from our research will have justified the time and costs required for this project. Thank you. Arnold, get a progress report. Right. Hello, Hiroko, dear. I love the new guard key access system, but some people who shouldn't have keys are wandering around AGR. Could you have a new set of keys made? Chaz is brilliant, but he has friends I'd rather not see in the lab, if you understand. Get started as soon as you can, dear. Miss Suzuki, the new janitor is expected tomorrow. She's under emergency investigation, but nothing negative expected. All she needs to do is use a mop and turbo vac and stay inside the station. Recommended by Irena Dmitrenia Kolnev. Emergency replacement for Yakov Petrovich Krasnoi. Issued temporary key code. Replaced with permanent code as soon as possible.
just the call to remind you of your appointment with Professor Kalnikov tomorrow. The professor is looking forward to your complete progress report. Don't be late. Hey, Tommy boy, que pasa? Good to hear from you. Down here in AGR country, we get feeling isolated, you know? Keeping out of Sonia's eyes, doing horticulture. Did you get that card key I left for you? Keep it safe. Uh-oh. 
gotcha. Uh -huh. As requested, I present a status report on the nanotechnology project. There is no progress, as I'm sure you know. You may not know the extent of the failure and the danger posed by the mutated molecular nanodevices. It is not my place to cast blame upon those who demanded immediate results and would not allow for controls for the time and care needed to nurture and train our minuscule creations. We designed useful molecule after molecule then abandoned them to design even more. As each species was set aside, it mutated. With no guidance, no controls, the successful mutations became predators. Killer viruses, as you can see. And, as directed, we kept making more. This slide demonstrates the predatory nature of these mutations on a sample of living tissue. Human tissue. We will not continue to produce new killers. Co colleagues, I know your shame. No shame is greater than my own. We have created wild beasts. We have unleashed them. And we are in their jungle. You did what you had to do. What you wanted to do. I did the same. And you see the results. Mutagens. Monsters. Tiny, invisible, deadly monsters. We created them, and we will pay the price. Perhaps with our lives. But we have the chance to redeem ourselves. We cannot kill all the mutagens. There simply are too many of them. But, as some of you know, we believe we can immunize ourselves and our colleagues against their blind ferocity and contain them within this facility. We have developed a vaccine and a delivery system for it that is as simple as walking through a metal detector. Unfortunately, the mutagens are everywhere. They have even invaded the series of vaccine cultures we have prepared, so the vaccine is not yet safe to use. We have modified a nanoprobe device to move through the cultures. With this device, we can inspect the vaccine and, hopefully, destroy the infestation. We originally prepared eight cultures of vaccine. The first four were used in the first set of trials. I will use the fifth on myself. I estimate that each culture will need to be cleared of 50 to 80 percent of its contamination. Then it will need to be infused and tested by human entry into the mutagen infestation. I will make the first attempt. I may fail. But, friends, we will not all fail. I wish good fortune to those who follow me.
Contamination eliminated. Interlock open. Interlock closed. Warning, entering contaminated area. Danger, viral infection hazard. Contamination eliminated. As you know, our experiment with self-directed nanotechnology was a disastrous success. The wee devils figured out how to gather up lab materials and build themselves into killing machines. And then the corpses were lab materials as well, rest their souls. Some of the nanites can fly. The others slide along the floor as if it were a frozen pond and themselves an ice skate. We were forced to seal off the area, and we made a good job of that, I'm glad to say. But a problem, apart from the fact that the sealed area is now filled with killing machines instead of hard-working scientists, is that no one can now get down below to the main Siberia research chamber, which can only be reached by the one elevator. We could not kill them from beyond the walls. Poison gas, hard vacuum, it didn't slow them down. So the nanites are still there, and there's nothing for it but to go at them with a remote probe. I call it Charlie. It has the most powerful plasma cannon it can carry, and an area-wide shockwave device. But a propulsion reactor is a fine piece of work, and very efficient. A good thing, too, for that the weapons are such an energy drain. The camera is a compromise, I admit, but it should give the operator a good enough view, and it hardly weighs a thing. The last thing was the anti-grav module, so Charlie could find the nanites hiding on the ceiling. We had to go for some really weird math to make it work. Weak it is, but it looks to be strong enough for Charlie. Charlie will have to go in and take them all out in one sweep. If even one survives, we would be completely reinfested within hours. We'll take a good operator with hands quicker than mine to guide Charlie through his mission. But it's our only chance. Stonya, I would send this to Kalnikov directly, but I know that you'll see it first anyway. My assistant Charles died tonight trying to retrieve the probe from the infested corridor. The power pack we're using is still too weak to get the Charlie probe all the way back to our lab. And the beasts have learned to attack in groups, sneaky buggers. I solved part of the problem by installing an area-wide shockwave device. The interkey activates a localized burst of energy matter disruption. Too technical, really, but we can kill them in small swarms now. Better chance, anyway. Poor Charlie. A good lad. Sweet Lord, forgive me. I need sleep now. May I have the strength to wake up?
hell is this thing? Query, what is your form? You... you speak? Subunit communicate speaks with form. What is your form? My form is human. Yes, human. But what is form identification? Oh, my name. I am Zach. Who are you? Self-Unit Scientists Project. That's a hell of a name. Can you see me? Visual? Self-Unit sees Zach body. Zach body sees self-unit. Zach, you there? Yeah, I read you. You made it, eh? I knew you were the right man for the job. Devlin, this weapon, it's unbelievable. It's sentient. Really? It's too bad, then. What? But it's only going to be sentient for about another minute. What are you talking about? You got it backwards, Zack. That thing isn't the weapon. You are. Adios, pal. Devlin! Detect radio activation. My chronic thermonuclear device in Zack body. Device detonation threshold in 60 second time units. Son of a bitch! Zap body, device detonation will cease all life functions. We're both gonna die. Zap body lives. Query, self-unit lives? You're more alive than most of the people I know. Query, Zap body can survive if merged with self-unit. Device detonation threshold in 30 second time units. Zap body will survive if merged with self. laid plans, eh? Just what the hell are you now, Zack? Shockwave! Force and magnitude growing! Defense systems up. Launch the swarm. Scramble all interceptors. Kill it.
see you in hell. Crash site now, Dr. Corbin. Status? Shallow vital signs detected. Whatever it is, it's still alive. A and B teams ready to begin extraction. Proceed. All right, Rescue 1, nice and easy. Set position. Rescue 2, positioning. Replace. Engaging. Steady, Rescue 1. That's it, take it up. Rescue 1, station secure. We've got him, Doctor. Get us the hell out of here. <laughs> 